Hey Internet, my name is Abby and welcome to Take on Mars, early access version. I've played this game a lot, but uh, the last time I hadn't enough time to play this game. And recently the game has received a, a big upgrade or a huge upgrade. Now the game also features some tech, uh, um, some tech trees and some other features. So I like to have a new look at the game and I want to um, share this look at the game with you. So let's start a space program and I want to restart the game. I know that I will um, lose all my save games and that's okay because it's a new version of the game and I want to start from the beginning. So let's see. Okay, we have the December 2nd, 1971. And we are here in our Russian Mars lander. And um, what I have to do is deploy the Mars 3D station, perform an analysis of the soil and drive the Prop M rover for at least 30 seconds. So let me click on this button. This will enable the deployment of our um, MR3 station. And afterwards we are able to... Here comes our rover. Now our rover is deployed. And now we can switch over to the instrument and it's already ready. So we can start analyzing and we can do an analysis of the soil of the Mars surface. As we were successful, we can also change the view. Right now we are seeing here the rover, which is looking a little bit like a carpet cleaner. And we can start moving the thing. It's looking... Ouch! Um, I hope it don't explodes on me. So yes, we are moving, we are rovering, roving on the Mars surface with this little tiny thing here. And um, yes. This is a start of, or this is a new start of Take on Mars in the early access version, and I'm pretty excited about exploring the game in this new version. Many years later. Okay, loading. And we are here in the mission control. I will skip the tutorials because they are a little bit boring. Over here you can change which kind of gameplay you will play. You can play uh, use game time or you can use real time. The one allows time skipping, the other one don't allow time skipping, but time passes also when I'm not playing the game. And I like to have the more hardcore approach, so I like to play the real time game. Okay, now we are here in our uh, mission control room of the Mars X. And new things are here. Uh, we have objectives. We can perform basic terrain mapping of the Martian surface. And we have a lot of other um, global ob objectives we can achieve. We have here also the tech tree. Um, over here you see all the things uh, you can develop. And if I say, OK, I want to have a small lander, the tech tree starts to highlight all the important things I need to research to uh, be able to build a, um, a small lander. Same goes for the large lander and all for the other interesting things. So now we can also research. The next important thing here is the, um, the map. Yes, close. Here I have the Mars map. I see here our uh, craters where I can do some science. I, we have here the Kaiser crater, the Victoria crater, the Lyot crater and the Gale crater. I can also switch to Dimas, the moon of Mars. We have here uh, Dimas, we have some missions and we can also analyze the main asteroid belt. This is hopefully also very interesting, but at first we will start with the Mars. Apart from the map, we have also the lab. We can play here, play Gravon, or we can go to the um, to the construction bay. Here we can create new vehicles. Currently we only have the probe. This is this little tiny thing here. But over time we will have also landers and rovers and we can equip them. If I say yes, I want to select the skeleton, I can see here uh, which um, items I have. I can equip to my... Um, my probe and so I can build my own probe but I won't do this right now but in later on of the gameplay we will also assemble our own constructions and own um, vehicles so yes the first step is I want to do a probe landing in the Victoria crater so I here in the map if I click on the one of the craters I see here where are um, missions the, uh, the missions are displayed here with the symbols and I want to start with the upper left one 
here I can choose which um, item I or which probe I want to I want to use. I want to use the basic probe, and I want to launch the vehicle. Now in the next step, I can choose where I want to have the thing um, landing on the Martian surface. And after I click on launch, the game will start to load, and we will start our descent to the Mars um, Martian surface. Um, yes, so this is our first step. Here we see the um, the approach of the probe from the um, from the camera of the probe. We can also switch the view to an outside view, which looks a little bit more impressive um, instead of the pi um, the the very easy um, camera. Because in the early version or in the early probes of the game, we have only this this. Um, the small um, or the, the pretty uh, simple camera which is very um, which has not a good resolution and so we have to we can't see a lot of things it's also only in black and white and so it's not so impressive as the outside views of our um, lander here or our space probe and later on we will have also high resolution co colorful cameras which are more impressive and where uh, it's more fun to uh, use a um, the view from the camera angle of the rover or of the lander. Okay, now we have launched our first probe. I uh, will do also some probes for the um, other landing zones over here. I will all the time use a basic probe and I just want to launch the vehicle. And let's see um, what's happened next. And the next step is we have to start to um, use the tech tree and um, using the tech tree will allow us to build some lenders or some other things so we are able to um, do more science and more um, imp um, more experiments on the Martian surface which is really cool and um, over time the game develops even more and um, over time we have also some rovers like the um, Curiosity uh, which are looking pretty similar to the Curiosity rover and we can uh, rove on the surface of Mars and explore the um, the surface and do some science with um, almost real science tools. The only um, disadvantage, where I'm not sure if this is a really good Let's Play series, is the game is or the gameplay is pretty slow. So as you can see here, or currently uh, we have not so much things to see or to explain because we are only launching probes. But later on, when we um, launch the vehicle right away. But later on, when we have rovers, we also have to drive some um, long distances and driving around on the Martian, Martian surface isn't that much impressive as um, other things. So the gameplay might be a little bit boring. So I'm not sure if this Let's Play series of Take on Mars is really enjoyable and is really fun to watch or if I um, well, I have to adapt it a little bit and we will see what I will do with the uh, Take on Mars gameplay. But right now I'm really enjoying the gameplay. Right, n We can see here again how the, um, not Sky Crane, but the lander of the probe or the rocket engines of the, um, the probe help us to burn retrograde and finally descend to the surface of Mars and have a landing with our space probe. Okay, this is really cool. This is a lot of fun, this game. And um, I will launch also this uh, fourth probe, I guess, to the Victoria Crater, and then we will start to um, research something in the tech tree. Okay, basic probe again, and let's launch that vehicle. And we will descend to the Martian surface again. So, um, yes, I really like this game. I um, I'm interested what um, about all the new features. As I said, the tech tree was new. I've played the game before the tech tree was introduced, and in this time, there was um, some experience uh, points level system. Also, you did missions, and after missions, you received a certain amount of experience level, and uh, so you have unlocked the technolo uh, technology. And it was a little bit passive. You can't do or you can't say, okay, I want to start with the rovers, like now in the tech tree. Uh, there I was, um, it was um, just uh, made by the gameplay or made by the developers which part is unlocked in uh, at which stage of the game. So uh, right now we have more control over our um, yeah. progression th uh, through the game and our uh, access to new technology.
Okay, let's switch back to the mission control. We have finished the um, things of the uh, Victoria crater. We have basic terrain mapping of the Martian surface. We have our uh, 4 of 10 m objectives already achieved. Now let's start with the tech tree. I want to have a small lander. Yes, I want to start with a small lander. So I need um, the lander chassis. What else do I need? I need the internal electronics. I need the automatic lander navigation software. I need the heat resistant ceramics and the atmospheric re-entry aerodynamics and this is all we need to have our first small lander. I'm looking very um, forward to this. What is a zero G probe? I think I will also research the, the zero G probe. This cl sounds pretty interesting. Wow. 950k so I think I will wait a little bit with a G zero G probe and instead while we are waiting for the research to be finished I will explore a little bit the Kaiser crater with some more basic probes so let's launch that vehicle and launch it into the Kaiser crater in the um, previous pl uh, gameplay or in the p uh, previous game I played I was um, exploring the Kaiser Crater with a rover, um, a rover which was looking almost like the Curiosity rover. And yes, after they upgraded the game to the new version with the tech tree and so on, um, I can't reload my old gameplay so or my old save game files. So I decided to um, start a new gameplay and use it also Sabluge. We are down on the surface. Well done. And so I decided also to um, create a um, Let's Play series out of my gameplay with Take on Mars to share my experiences and my, my Mars exploration with you. And um, I hope you will enjoy this. And um, I'm looking forward to your comments. I hope you will comment on my videos on YouTube so I can know what you are interested in. If you're interested in Take on Mars and if you are like my gameplay or if you want to see something other. So I'm looking re very much forward to this and um, myself I'm also enjoying this game and I like to use my Let's Play series a little bit to um, have some loggings of my gameplay and my achievements and what I've done in Take on Mars so I can review also my achievements and my gameplay later on and see what I've did while I was playing Take on Mars and well done. We have um, achieved a major task is completed this is very good. So now we are descending again to the Martian surface. I'm still impressed that the camera survives the impact because it's looking like we are hitting with the camera the surface and this is impressive that the thing is surviving the landing. Yes, okay. Let's disconnect again and launch our final probe for the Kaiser Crater. Come on, okay, Kaiser Crater and I want to launch here with the basic probe, so let's launch that vehicle and launch it. And... Okay, here we go again. We are descending again to the Kaiser Crater. And I'm also looking forward when we have improved cameras, which are colorful and higher resolution cameras, so we can um, even more enjoy the gameplay from a um, point of view of the vehicle and enjoy it from this point of view. This is looking a little bit more realistic than uh, seeing the vehicle approaching from the outside. And while well, the outside view is pretty interesting and pretty detailed and looking impressive and colorful, but on the other hand I like to have it more realistic and thus I would more uh, like to play from the inside view like this view even if the um, footage isn't looking so impressive than the outside footage. Okay, we finished our third landing on the Kaiser Crater. Let's have a look about our tech tree, how far we are with the with the development okay we need a little bit more time so i think we do a, a another probe launch and this time i like to descend to dimus i have never been to dimus and i want to see how dimus is looking like so let's launch that probe here and start descending to dimus dimus was already available in the version i've played so far but um as i said um the technology was only unlocked over time and I was in the Kaiser Crater and I haven't unlocked any probes for the, uh, Dimus 
so I wasn't able to launch anything to Dimas and now it's the first time I can see the moon of Mars and approach it with the space probe. This is really cool and I have to say the moon is also looking pretty cool with the small craters and the huge craters over there. I'm pretty much looking forward to explore even more Dimas and here we're coming down. Explore complete, this is good. Now we are burning retrograde and well done, we have achieved the major task and it's looking like that the gravity of Dimas is pretty pretty uh, low so as you can see we did our retrograde burn above the surface and the following vehicles and instruments are now available small lander this is amazing so now we have our small lander which is really cool okay um yes we can see here we are descending very very slowly towards the surface of Dimas which is really cool that they um, have different uh, kinds of gravity and can we see somewhere Mars? Can we? Can we? Here is the Sun. But I don't think that we are able to see Mars. No, I can't see Mars anywhere here. And we've made it already. Where's our shadow? There's our shadow. We are coming down and Spilunk. Okay, we are on the surface of Dimas. The first time ever from... Oh no, we are we are jumping, we are bouncing off the surface of Dimas, we are climbing up again a little bit. So yes, the gravity seems to be pretty pretty low that we bounce again up upwards after our uh, first contact with the surface of Dimas. So this is really cool. I'm looking forward to see more of Dimas and I think it's also uh, interesting. I'm not sure if I can land some rovers here to drive around with rovers on the, on the surface because on the what is the thing narrow? Okay, the thing is floating in the above the surface of Dimas. Interesting. Okay, it doesn't uh, climb down or doesn't descend to the surface. This is interesting. Okay, so much about Dimas. I'm looking forward to this and I'm also looking forward to um, see um, if I can land a rover on Dimas. Okay, let's switch on the light here. This is my own control panel. Uh, by clicking on the screens I can access my landers or my rovers, but it makes currently no sense to um, access a landed probe because we can't do anything else with the probe. And um, so yes, the next thing we want to do is we have produced our first small lander. New technology required for additional missions. Okay, but which technology is required? Um, what else do I want to have? Probe small lander rover? No, I want to. Robotic instruments, environmental analysis station, soil pr analysis probes, alpha particle x-ray spectrometer, um, soil scoops, uh, passive, passive instruments, antennas, low gain, high gain, ultra high, cameras, power sources. Okay, I like to have for my lander, I'm not sure if I need these things, I want to have an iron environmental analyzer station. So what do I need for this? I need the low power socket system, okay. I need the chromatograph sensor firmware, okay. I need the grass gas chromatography, I need the gas particular particle detection systems, okay. Um, soil probe not, I want to have environmental monitoring stat, okay, I can't access this right now. Antennas, I think antennas are also pretty important, so we can communicate with our lander, so a low gain signal amplification we need. What else? Cameras, no, I don't think we need cameras right now, we have Coloramic basic imager telefocus, basic imager telewide angel. I think I want to have this one. So I need, oh, I need a lot of things. What else do I need? Uh, this is currently under research. I need fixed local length camera system, monochromatic CCD chip. Okay. Do I need another thing? Um, no. Basic Im imager wide angel. I want to have this thing as well. Oh, I am already researching it, so power sources. 
I want to have a solar cell. Where is the solar cell here? Okay. Amorphous silicon cell. I can't access this right now, so then I will have the chemical energy conversion before I can do this. What else? I think this is all for now. So I will launch another probe. I want to launch a probe to the light crater while we are um, researching new things. Let's launch a probe here and let's land on on the light crater. Yes. Okay, and while we are descending down, I would call this an episode. I hope you liked the first impression of Take on Mars of my gameplay. I hope you liked this. If you do so, please like my video on YouTube, please become a subscriber to my YouTube channel, and please leave me a comment what you're thinking about Take on Mars and what you're thinking about my Let's Play series. And um, so I know what you are expect from the series, and maybe I can adapt and um, do other things what you like to see. So if you want to see me more driving around with rovers, I will start to research more rover things and so on. Okay, um, I hope you like this video. I hope you will uh, watch also my next video about Take on Mars. Um, and I hope we will see us again in the next episode. Ooh, this thing is rolling down. Let's watch this from the inside. No, it stopped rolling down. Okay. I hope you will watch also the next episode of Take on Mars and I can see you in the next episode. So until then, my name is Abby. See you!